Hello, welcome to my channel and Happy New Year! In this video, we are going to see the different types of hypersensitivity reactions with the diseases that occur in horses. Let's start with type 1 hypersensitivity. This reaction happens when an antigen interacts with IgE antibodies, that binds to IgE receptors on mast cells. The mast cells are then triggered to release the contents of its lysosomes into the surrounding tissues. Mast cells' responses are extremely rapid. Granules are released within seconds after antigen binds to IgE, thus there is a sudden acute inflammatory reaction. Nevertheless, there is also a late phase reaction which occurs 6-12 hours later. It's believed that it results from the release of inflammatory mediators by eosinophils and neutrophils attracted to the site by the chemotactic factors released by the mast cells. The severity and location of the inflammation generated depend on the number and location of the inflammatory cells. Examples of this type of hypersensitivity are anaphylaxis, allergic dermatitis such as insect bite hypersensitivity and food allergies, although these are uncommon in horses. Type 2 hypersensitivity are reactions that are mediated by antibodies and occur with blood transfusions. Red cells have cell surface molecules that act as antigens. So if blood is transfused from an animal to another, the red cell's antigens will stimulate an antibody response that will cause the rapid elimination of the transfused red cells with intravascular hemolysis. These antigens present on red blood cells are called blood group antigens. So what's happened with the transfusion? If the donor red cells are identical to those of the recipient, nothing will happen. If the recipient possesses pre-existing antibodies to the donor red cells antigens, they will be attacked and destroyed immediately. If there aren't pre-existing antibodies but the cells are still different, then foreign red cells stimulate the production of antibodies and the second transfusion with the same red blood cells will result in their immediate destruction. A type of these reactions occurs also in foals born from mares that have become sensitized to foreign red cells, thus they have the antibodies against these red blood cells and they are concentrated in their colostrum. If the newborn foal has this type of red blood cells and suckles the colostrum, these antibodies will cause a rapid destruction of its red cells. This disease is called neonatal isoerythrolysis. Red cells may also be destroyed by the administration of drugs such as penicillin as they may modify the surface of red blood cells, which are then recognized as foreign and eliminated. Type 3 hypersensitivity reactions are those mediated by immunocomplexes that are formed by the combination of antibodies with antigens. When these immunocomplexes are deposited in tissues, the activated complement generates chemotactic peptides, which attract neutrophils. The severity of the reactions depends on the amount and site of deposition of the immunocomplexes. Examples of this type of hypersensitivity in horses are glomerulonephritis and purpura hemorrhagica. Type 4 hypersensitivity is characterized by delayed reactions that result from interaction of an antigen, an antigen-presenting cell, and T cells. Depending on the type of antigen-presenting cells, different mediators and pathways are activated. 
A quite recurrent uveitis, for example, seems to be characterized by a T-helper 1 response, while equine asthma by a T-helper 2 response. Graft reactions typically involve cytotoxic T-cells. And that's all. Thanks for watching and don't forget to press like if you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to watch more videos. Bye!